Mecha Dinosaurs made this... I still find it really hard to believe because it, it doesn't have that recognizable guy. Okay, Mecha Dinosaurs, uh, Paleontology, bits like this don't have that recognizable guy, but anyways, enjoy. In this video, we'll explore five instances where dinosaur and man walked side by side. Let's dive straight in. And from the thumbnail itself, it is also just AI generated. Like these uh, AI generated photos over here, we already showed two of them. Number five, Dinotopia. Okay, and also, aren't we uh, technically coexisting with dinosaurs already in the form of birds? Uh, this Dinotopia over here is just completely fictional. So, there really is nothing to be taken as paleontology at this point. Dinotopia is a series of illustrated fantasy books created by James Gurney. It's set in the titular Dinotopia, an isolated island inhabited by shipwrecked humans and sapient dinosaurs who've learned to coexist peacefully as a single symbiotic society. The first book was published in 1992 and has appeared in 18 languages in more than 30 countries and sold 2 million copies. The denizens are shipwrecked near Dinotopia and after making it to the shore are found by people of the hatchery. Um, okay then. You're just summarizing the plot of, um, that Dinotopia book thing. The hatchery is a place where dinosaurs are born tended by both humans and dinosaurs. The denizens then set out to explore the island, hoping to find a means of returning to their old lives. Arthur and Will undergo a broad journey, circling the island as they endeavor to learn the customs and culture of their new neighbors. Arthur, in particular, develops an interest in the scientific accomplishments of the natives, which far exceed that of any human culture. Okay, this is actually quite interesting here. Uh, dino books, this is fine, obviously. Um, five astonishing times dinosaurs and humans coexisted. I can't really say that this is not clickbait because this is a fictional book. Among the subjects, he studies the flora of the island, the partnership of its inhabitants, and the existence of a place known as the world beneath. This world beneath is an explanation for the Dinotopians surviving the Saurian extinction. According to the story, most of the Earth's dinosaurs were destroyed, whilst a few hidden vast caverns. These few became the original Dinotopians. No one's entered the world beneath for centuries, but Arthur intends to do so. 4. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs Another fictional book about dinosaurs. Uh, Non-avian ones. Xenozoic Tales is an alternative comic book by Mark Schultz in a post-apocalyptic future. The series was well-received, and in the early 1990s, when else, it won four Harvey Awards and three Eisner Awards. Despite this, strangely, issues began to become sporadic, eventually seizing mid-story arc in issue 14. Xenozoic Tales also proved moderately successful under the title Cadillacs and Dinosaurs and spawned an animated series on CBS, an arcade game from Capcom, a Sega CD video game from Rocket Science Games, action figures, candy bars, and a Twilight 2000 system role-playing game. Back then, dinosaurs were still quite a cool topic. Well, back then paleontology was not as advanced, so we came up with some of those ridiculous uh, designs and theories. In the storyline, Earth has been ravaged by pollution and natural disasters of all sorts. To escape this, humanity built vast underground cities in which they lived 500 years. Upon emerging, the humans found that the world had been reclaimed by previously extinct life forms. Most spectacularly, you guessed it, dinosaurs. AI art really discredits um, actual artists who do so much hard work just to get some... Um, to get just to draw some pictures and then the AI just completely wipes away. In the new Xenozoic era, technology is extremely limited and those with mechanical skills command a great deal of respect and influence. The two main characters of the series are mechanic Jack Tenrick and scientist and love interest Hannah Dundee. Not just a fiction, this thing is a comic book. Wow, okay. Uh, why even bother include comic books in this 
supposedly a paleontology video. Tenric operates a garage in which he restores cars, particularly Cadillacs. Given that the post-apocalyptic world no longer possesses the ability to refine oil, Tenric modifies his cars to run on dinosaur guano. These cars, of course, are frequently chased by rampaging dinosaurs in pulp-style action-adventure stories. 3. Wakanda Okay, the only thing I thought of about Wakanda was Wakanda forever. Early on in their career, the X-Men discovered the Savage Land and its population of dinosaurs, the first of many visits to the region by the team over the years. In addition, the Serpent Valley of Wakanda was home to dinosaurs resulting from deviant experiments that occurred thousands of years ago. It was a place where sunlight never penetrated because of dense cloud coverage. Man, why does AI keep generating this sort of art? Um, uh, if it's made by a real art, it's going to sell a gaz gazillion. And, and it's all just AI at this point, which I don't condone at all. The land was humid and heated by an unknown inner source. It was perhaps this heat which had attracted not just dinosaurs, but many reptiles and creatures. Eric Killmonger passed through the valley in hopes of using the dinosaurs to attack central Wakanda. But Solomon Prey later on put the plan into effect when he tried to defeat the Black Panther. 2. Biblical creationists believe that man and dinosaurs lived at the same time. Biblical creations. Okay, they're technically uh, not wrong in the form of... Uh... In the fact that uh, dinosaurs, uh, birds, which are dinosaurs, and humans are still coexisting today. Because God said he created man and land animals on day six. There are also many references to massive creatures such as the behemoth and the leviathan. The Bible states that two of every kind of land animal and even seven of some went on to the ark. Some skeptics ask, how could two of every kind of dinosaur fit on the ark? If dinosaurs sailed on the Ark, where are they today? Well, old stuff tends to be quite ridiculous as of today. Um, science was not as advanced, and there were lots of just, Believe in God! God created everything! Well, if the Bible says it, it's good enough for me. There are many references in history to dinosaurs and man living together. Examples being the petroglyph in Natural Bridges, Utah, the legends and stories of dragons in Europe, and the use of the dragon motif by the Chinese. So you're basically telling me dragons, whoever they are, are all dinosaurs. Dragons are fictional creatures. And they can't really uh, classify as a dinosaur. They can classify as an animal, probably, but not a dinosaur. But one striking example in Asia is the base relief picture of a dinosaur in the ruins of Angkor outside of Siam Reap, Cambodia. 1. Jurassic Park Jurassic Park is fictional like most of the others in this list. Yes, perhaps the best-known franchise where man and dinosaur were thrown back into the mix is Jurassic Park. John Hammond and scientists from InGen managed to create several dinosaur species using ingenious cloning techniques, mainly via extracting blood from mosquitoes trapped in amber. Before he even knew what he had, he patented it and packaged it and put it on a lunchbox, and now he's selling it. Okay, why does this look so familiar? even though it is AI generated. This, uh, this, this art just hurts me. He's selling it. Bonus entry, Turok. Yes, you might remember the Ultra 64 game. Sorry, Nintendo 64. The graphics were cutting edge at the time. The original comic titled Turok, Son of Stone, was illustrated by Rex Maxon. Oh, his name's a dinosaur name. In 1992, Valiant Comics introduced a revamped Turok, debuting him in Magnus Robot Fighter, issue 12. And Turok is yet another not real thing, just like Jurassic Park. It didn't occur in real life. With this version, the concept and setting were altered. Turok and Andar were now 18th century Native Americans. The isolated valley became the Lost Lands, a land where demons, dinosaurs, and aliens flourish and where time has no meaning. Uh, okay, that... Man, 
We didn't even learn anything. A cosmic anomaly causes time and the Lost Lands to move in a self-contained loop, which means that while millions of years pass outside of it, inside, time barely moves. Unity, a line-wide Valiant Comics crossover, altered the concept even further. The crossover's main villain, a psychotic superpowered being known as Mother God, uses the Lost Lands as her base of operations. She outfits dinosaurs with intelligence-boosting implants, turning them into bionosaurs, which is what you see in the game. I don't know what is Mega Dinosaur's uh, status, creator or company, I don't know. So that brings us to the end of five instances where man and dinosaur are thrown back into the mix. Hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you soon. There really is nothing to say about this paleontology video, which is not really a paleontology video, because all this video talks about is just um, fictional comic books and uh, not novel books and other other uh, biblical stuff, which is just religion stuff. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.